Hey there, I'm Michelle from Goodness Gracious Gluten Free and welcome to my class in my booth at the Nourish Festival. Today we're gonna to be making these super easy, no bake monster cookie bites. I can't wait to share this recipe with you. So to make this recipe, it's super easy and you can totally customize it to fit your needs. I have half of a cup of either sun butter or peanut butter, one cup of Purity Protocol oats, and some delicious little candies that I have to put in them. I have some Enjoy Life mini chocolate chips and some dark chocolate covered almonds and some dark chocolate covered caramel bites. I was trying to find some more allergy friendly M&Ms but I could not find any at my local store so this is what we're working with today. But you could totally add in dried fruit, some M&Ms, peanut M&Ms, whatever you'd like and whatever you're comfortable eating. All right, let's get started. And then like, like I said, this is super easy. So I have a bowl and in our bowl we're going to add in our Purity Protocol oats and to it we're going to add in our chocolate chips and then I'm going to chop up our um, chocolate covered almonds and caramels to put in there and you could add in whatever you'd like, like I said. I've made these with like dried cranberries in them, I've made them with M&Ms in them. But if obviously if you have a nut allergy or sensitivity, you wouldn't want to add those to your monster cookie bites. And I love that these are so portable and easy to make. They're perfect to take with you on the go and for after school snacks. All right, that looks like just about enough, about a quarter cup of those. And right into our bowl with the rest of our monster cookie ingredients. And then the little caramels, chop those up real quick. I think this is such a fun little recipe to make with kids in the kitchen because they love adding things to a bowl and really it's so easy. You just add them and stir, scoop, or even you can even let them use their hands and get them all messy and roll out the balls. It works great either way. And they're ready in just a few minutes after you let them sit in the refrigerator. All right, these are all chopped now, looking perfect. Put those right in. And then you're just going to add in your sun butter or peanut butter, almond butter, whatever you'd like to add in and we're going to stir it up. And sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to soften a bit to get everything sticking together, but just be patient. It'll get there or you can use your fingers, whichever you'd like. I know when my kids were little, they would love to make stuff like this because they could stick their hands in it and it would get all over them and they thought that was awesome. All right, these are starting to come together. Just keep stirring. Trying to get everything to stick together. Okay, it looks really good. I hope you're having so much fun at the Nourish Festival. I know I am. I've checked out so many fun booths and classes and gotten to listen to some amazing people speak. Such a great resource for people with gluten sensitivities or celiac disease. I absolutely love that. All right, so now you can either use your hands and roll them into balls and put them on the pan with parchment paper or you can use a cookie scoop. And then once you scoop them, I like to just roll them a little bit with my hands so they form a perfect ball. All right, so I'm gonna scoop them all out and then I'll roll them. They smell so good already. These are great little bites, especially for lunches or after school snacks, and they are delicious and give you a little bit of energy and they're perfect on the go. I like to keep some in my fridge so that we can just grab them for a little snack. All right, these are looking good. I'm gonna finish scooping out their last little bit here. And don't worry, <laughs> your hands do get a little sticky from the nut butter, but that's okay. Okay, pick all those little Enjoy Life chocolate chips that fell out because nobody wants to miss out on those. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands, pop these in the fridge, and I'll be back to show you what they turned out like in the end. All right, our no-bake monster cookie bites are all done. They've been in the fridge for about 15 minutes, and now they are all solidified together. They are delicious, and I hope you enjoyed this class. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out my specials for the Nourish Festival for my online cooking class membership as well as my Zoom Live cooking classes. And best wishes for gluten-free dishes. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.